how do you size yourself for a kilt jacket? He says he's a big guy, he's a 52 natural waist, so are there special considerations he has to worry about? Can he trust off the peg sizes? What do you do if you want a jacket? Um, the most off the peg jackets or off the rack jackets, if you want to call them that, um, fit, I would say, 80 to 90% of people very easily. Um, the one, the problem that we run into is if somebody has a real big belly and, you know, smaller rounder shoulders, or it, conversely, if you got, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, real, real jacked, huge chest, broad shoulders, and a tiny waist. Um, so if it's, if it's an Argyle jacket and vest, or a, something that's like stock supported from whatever manufacturer, I'd say just, you know, verify their, their return policy, their exchange policy, order it, try it on, see what happens. Um, for ours specifically, we generally tell people go up about a size. So if you're a 43 or a 44 inch chest, we tell people go up to a 46. On myself, I'm about a 46 inch chest, I actually wear a 48. Um, the jackets, the off the peg style jackets, for the most part, taper down a little bit for the waist. So if you're the type of gent who has a 52 inch chest and a 52 inch or 54 inch belly, you're gonna wanna kinda pad the jacket size up a little bit just to make sure you can actually close it around the belly. But um, it's, not, it's not a problem for most companies because they're gonna take uh, you know, swap out sizes or accept, accept returns on, um, on stock jackets like an Argyle or like a PC. The only time it would be a little funky potentially is if you're doing like a tweed jacket and vest or something that's custom, then you wanna make sure you're getting the, the measurements bang on. Right. And we, we always recommend that uh, once you get a jacket, at least from us, uh, it's worthwhile to have a tailor local to you check it out because there's no such thing as a perfect fit from an off the peg or off the rack jacket for anybody. Kilt wear, regular Saxon suits, any of that, none of it is ideal to most guys, which is why you can you can immediately tell the difference between a guy who's been to the tailor to have his suit you know, fitted a little better and a guy who just went to men's warehouse and grabbed the jacket, okay, see ya, and just throws it on to go do his job so yeah it's worth the time to have a tailor look it over and tweak things for you a tiny bit yeah it's it, i'd say i'd say this a within budget b within uh within reasonable tolerance um if you happen to if the jacket happens to fit you perfectly or you're an average proportioned kind of guy then you may not need to and i would say the vast majority of people feel that their jacket fits fine and don't end up going to do that. Yeah. Um, if you do want a very, very, very precise thing, then sure, go to a tailor to have it tweaked a little bit. Yep. 